Hey guys, Sean with Long Long Honeymoon here. Today we're taking a look at the Tireminder RV air compressor. You know, over the years I have developed a reputation as someone obsessed with tire pressure. I often wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, wondering what is the pressure of my tires? Well, I have to wonder no longer because we do have a tire pressure monitoring system. And if that alarm ever goes off, I'm grabbing this, the Tire Minder RV Air Compressor. And you can see it comes in this beautiful, stylish carry case. My wife has her Louis Vuitton. I have my Tire Minder air compressor carry case. So let's take a look inside this case and discuss why you might want one of these gadgets. Well, in our case, we have a travel trailer and the pressure inside the tires in our travel trailer fluctuates around 65 PSI, pounds per square inch. But some of you guys out there are running much larger rigs. You big motorhome people know who you are. And the tire pressure inside your massive big rig tires can be over 100 PSI. That's when you really want to have a powerful air compressor. And you can see this is a very powerful air compressor that tucks away neatly in this little bag. Here it is, the Tire Minder heavy duty RV air compressor, which can inflate tires up to a maximum pressure of 150 PSI. The key metric here is CFM. Now, for those of you asking WTF, CFM is cubic feet per minute. And this little guy boasts 1.8 CFM. So it can inflate a huge tire from zero to 100 PSI in under 12 minutes or so they claim. We're gonna test some of these claims in just a moment. This air compressor is powered by DC power. So it comes with some alligator clips and you will <clears throat> clip it to your battery in your vehicle and then attach this air hose. So the air hose is about 60 feet in length. The power cable is eight feet in length. So the idea is you can hook it up to your battery and then just pull the air hose wherever you need it around your rig. This entire package weighs about 14 pounds. It's about the same weight as a fully grown male opossum. And so you can carry it in one hand, set it where you need it and inflate what you need. And it comes with this nice digital tire gauge, which has an on button and a funk button. Personally, I like to make it funky. Let's step outside the garage, put this gadget together and inflate some tires, shall we? All right guys, now we're gonna have a little fun and we're going to set up and demonstrate the Tire Minder RV air compressor right before your very eyes. I wanna point out on the end of the air compressor is a removable air filter that needs to be replaced every nine to 14 months. Eight months would be too soon, 15 months would be too long. But of course it depends on how often you actually use your air compressor. But this filter just screws into the end of the unit. Next up, we want to attach our various hoses. And you can see all of these hoses connect using a quick connect setup, which is very quick and nice. This is a braided steel hose that connects your air compressor to the actual green airflow hose. The air compressor is powered by a 12 volt power source. Typically you're going to connect it to your vehicle's battery. We'll do that in just a moment. But I wanna point out that the cable, the power cable is eight feet in length each air hose is 30 feet in length and you get two of these. So those of you with really large motor homes can connect 60 feet of air hose to your air compressor. Again, I'm gonna point out how quick and easy it is to connect up these hoses using the quick connect setup. Now on the business end of the hose, we have our digital tire gauge. And again, quick connect here. Come on. And here's a look at the tire gauge. You've got your on button 
and you've got your funk. Now, like I said, I like to make it funky, but to the best of my determination, funk merely controls the LED light. So that green light is funky. On the business end of the hose, this is a threaded connection. So you can thread it right up to your tire. And on the side of the gauge, there's a little button. You can bleed off air pressure if you choose. Okay, so that's nice. Very nice digital display. And I like having this button to easily bleed off air pressure. I will point out, we use the Tire Minder tire pressure monitoring system and I've removed one of the little sensors here. <laughs> but this gauge is telling me we're at 45 PSI on the rear tire of our truck. Our truck tires are actually larger and require more pressure than our trailer tires <laughs> because we've got a big old honking diesel truck. Now I wanna show you how to connect the air compressor to a power source. And you should do this with your vehicle off. Go red to red, black to black. And then really you want your engine turned on and running when you're running the air compressor because it's going to draw a lot of juice out of your battery. But in this case, I think we're gonna refrain from doing that since our truck is a noisy old diesel beast. For purposes of this video, we'll leave the truck off for a moment. But on one end of the air compressor, you have your power switch. When you kick that on, the air compressor starts compressing. And it's actually surprisingly quiet. They say it's about 60 decibels of noise that is produced when this thing is running, which is about the amount of an average conversation. Assuming you talk like this. So our compressor is on, is connected to power. Typically we would be running our truck engine when doing this job. And now all I need to do is depress the little lever here and the air compressor kicks on. Air starts flowing into the tire. And you can see we're currently at 51.9 PSI. And they claim 1.8 cubic feet per minute of airflow. So supposedly you can inflate a large motorhome tire from flat to 100 PSI in about 12 minutes. Let's see how that goes with old Seymour's tire. Typically when we're towing, we have these rear tires uh, at about 80 PSI. So pretty high air pressure in these tires. Let's make it funky. So if you push the on button, you can cycle through various readings. Bar, KPA, <laughs> kilogram over centimeter squared, very important. And PSI. PSI is going up, but slowly but surely. Now it's going up more. I guess the pressure is built up. Now you can see uh, we're up to 60 PSI. So that's moving pretty quickly. Actually, I'm very impressed with the noise output of this tool because air compressors can be noisy little beasts. This is much quieter than the other air compressors we've used. So if you release the handle, the compressor will stop running and your gauge will kind of level off here. And when I depress the handle again, you can hear the air resume flowing and the gauge will resume measuring the air pressure. So it's going pretty quickly. It doesn't really feel quick, but it is quick. Trust me on that. I'm gonna get it up to around 75. All right, now for demonstration purposes. I've cranked the truck. Now you see why I was reluctant to crank the truck. But it's going really fast, actually. I mean, we're getting about one PSI every 10 to 15 seconds. 
So just for demonstration purposes, we'll go ahead and take it up to 80 PSI. So there was a quick demonstration of the Tire Minder RV air compressor. Note that this little guy gets pretty warm when used. So that is very hot. You could fry an egg on that. So you don't want to do that unless you're really hungry. And this hose gets hot as well. But overall, I am really impressed with this unit. This is the nicest air compressor that we've ever owned. These retail between $350 and $400. You know, prices fluctuate, so I'm always hesitant to quote an exact price. Uh, it's a nice unit, but I really like the build quality and design. I really like the quick connect cable points and all the various features of the unit and it did a great job inflating our tire in a very quick fashion. So that is a look at the Tire Minder RV air compressor. If you want to check out this unit on Amazon, of course you guessed it, there will be a link beneath this video where you can read reviews from other users. As always, thank you for tuning in to Long Long Honeymoon, the long longest running RV show on the interwebs or so we claim. Here on Long Long Honeymoon, we say, Lolo ho.